Did you know that increasing wages for gig drivers could actually lead to them earning less? How is that possible? Let's dive in. Hey there, it's Steve from the Penny Stupid channel. Today I'm talking about how higher regulatory wages can end up reducing drivers' income and why this happens. You need to know. My findings come from extensive research, drawing from multiple sources, including official company regulatory filings and real world examples across various cities. Rather than give you my opinion, I wanted to give you information based on facts. And while the facts I'm going to share may be difficult to hear, it's crucial for you, the drivers, to have all this information so you can make better choices and decisions to preserve your income. You'll be shocked by the effects of these changes on drivers' earnings and opportunities, so stick around to learn more. First up, new regulations in cities like Seattle and New York City have imposed higher minimum wages and benefits for drivers. Sounds good. Uber and Lyft, for example, face increased operational costs due to these regulations. When operational costs go up, companies pass those costs on to consumers in the form of higher prices. And guess what happens next? Demand drops, leading to fewer rides and deliveries for drivers. In Seattle, Uber drivers now face tripled wait times between rides due to these regulations. Longer wait times mean fewer trips and reduced earnings. Previously, higher earning drivers are now making less due to the reduced number of rides they can complete. While these companies may be showing a profit, they also have pressures and legal obligations to distribute it elsewhere other than you, driver. Public companies have a responsibility to shareholders as owners of the company, and investors are expecting a certain return on investment to maintain further confidence in the company. Now, well, let's talk about market saturation and competition. DoorDash and Instacart are dealing with a highly competitive market. This competition can reduce the number of available orders per driver as companies engage in price wars ultimately reducing profitability. Operational costs are another biggie. Uber and Lyft have to cover expenses for background checks and insurance to comply with regulations. These costs eat into the budget that could be used for driver incentives, making it harder for drivers to earn more. For delivery services like DoorDash and Instacart, inefficiencies such as long wait times for order pickups can limit the number of deliveries a driver completes. Drivers who used to earn more due to efficient operations and high demand now find themselves earning less due to these increased costs and inefficiencies. Higher operational costs lead to higher prices for rides and deliveries. When prices go up, consumers use these services less. This reduced demand directly translates to fewer rides and deliveries for drivers. Drivers who once relied on a steady stream of rides and deliveries are now experiencing a significant drop in demand, leading to lower overall income. And looking ahead, it's possible that more states will adopt similar regulations, which could further increase operational costs for companies like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and Instacart. If more states implement these regulations, we could see a nationwide impact where drivers across the country face similar challenges. For instance, California's AB5 law, which initially classified gig workers as employees, led to Proposition 22, allowing them to remain independent contractors with benefits. Despite this compromise, the ongoing regulatory environment continues to create financial strain on companies and drivers. Other industries have experienced similar outcomes. For example, truck drivers faced significant income reductions after regulations increased operational cost. New hours of service regulations meant to improve safety reduced the number of hours truck drivers could work, impacting their earnings. In Massachusetts, a settlement mandated a minimum pay of $32.50 per hour for drivers, along with benefits like paid sick leave and health care stipends. Great for driver protection, right? Yeah, but these changes significantly increased operational costs for Uber and Lyft leading to reduced bonuses and incentives for drivers. In New York, new regulations set a minimum wage of $27.86 per hour and guaranteed paid sick leave. 
While driver protections improved, the increased cost meant companies had to reduce other forms of driver compensation. Seattle's minimum wage of 56 cents per minute and $1.50 per mile ensures better pay but also raises costs for companies. This often results in fewer incentives and reduced earnings for drivers. To sum it up, while higher regulatory wages aim to protect drivers, they can lead to increased operational costs for companies. And these costs are often passed on to consumers, reducing demand and ultimately leading to fewer rides and deliveries for drivers. Drivers who used to earn more are now facing reduced income due to these changes. With more states potentially adopting similar regulations, the future could see further income challenges for drivers. It's a complex balancing act that affects everyone involved. Hey, if you're finding value in this video, give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference for the channel. It lets YouTube know that you like the video and what we're doing here on the Penny Stupid channel. And don't forget, subscribe, share, do the whole thing. If you want more information, you can check out other videos here. Hey, this is Steve from the Penny Stupid channel. Until next time, yeah.